Let's get right to that landing on Northwest Highway tonight. Our Charlie Damar live in Palatine. Charlie. Erica, good evening. Yeah, that plane has now been cleaned up. The pilot somehow walked out of that plane on his own. He seemed in good spirits. He was even taking pictures of the damaged plane at some point. The homes here not heavily damaged or damaged at all, and none of the drivers were touched in any of this. This single engine Cessna used busy Quentin Road as a runway coming to a stop in a yard near Colfax around 6:10 tonight in the air for only about five minutes after taking off from Chicago's executive airport, according to online flight data. I saw this plane come real low. First it looked like a glider, and I knew it was just way too low. We were sitting on the balcony and we heard what sounded like a car crash. The man who witnesses identified as the pilot was uninjured. He watched on with who appeared to be friends and family, presumably explaining the miraculous touchdown. The pilot's fine. He was just standing next to the plane. I never saw a plane crash right by the um, street. The pilot spoke to Lupe Schofstall moments after the crash. She lives nearby. He said that he ran out of uh, power right at the corner. I heard metal on, on uh, concrete or on asphalt, you know, like an accident just sliding all the way and I started running. I was surprised for being an old lady that I could run that fast. Before the tow truck took the damaged plane away, the pilot went back to the cockpit, grabbed his belongings and certainly counted his blessings. It, it, it's a, a miracle landing, you know. And from the spot where this plane went down, we are about seven miles west from the airport that that plane took off from the FAA and the NTSB. Now investigating. We are live in Palatine. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Thank you, Charlie.